Well, I think we're recording now. And I'm in the back attic. But as you can see, it looks just a little bit different. <laughs> There's a sheet hanging here. And no, it's not green screen. But it's, it's a stepping stone in that direction. What have I been up to? Well, I've got a bit more time on my hands. The mix has come to a stop. So I have decided to do two things. Study hard and learn about DaVinci Resolve, which has been amazing. I've got to be honest with you, the amount I'm learning is absolutely brilliant. And then the second thing is get bang, watch out, here I come. the road again so this is a 20 year old project using the quake one engine and um, using lots of add-on 16-bit processing sometimes so I'm having to have a laptop with Windows 98 to do some of the work managed to get Windows 7 to produce the videos and I might get Windows 10 to do it but it's a bit temperamental running the uh, quake engine at 1600 by 9 900 16 by 9 and the quality is amazing. I'll put a clip in here so you guys get to see it. It's a work in progress. It's happened over the last couple of days very quickly and I am very, very, very impressed. Why this? Why this? Trying to get rid of the shadows. Got the lights down here. Had the lights over there, but then the shadows were very profound. Um, and these are normal bulbs, and they are, I think, 100 watt LEDs. So it's whatever the equivalent of 100 watt tungsten is. Can't move too much because the blanket moves. Uh, but we'll get there. I'm explaining what I'm doing. So these two bulbs are doing a bloody good job considering the standard round bulbs. They're dissipating the light quite easily. You can see I can cover myself up and now we've got a shadow. This is all to do with getting me into DaVinci Resolve. So I'm basically using existing materials. Whatever I've got lying around I can make. This is a sheet, a spare sheet. There's a couple of weights at the bottom, very lightweight, and it's clipped along my shelf that's full of tat. I'm going to try. I already tried this. I got Emma's tablet. It's either yesterday or the day before. I think it's two days ago. And we filmed me dancing around like this, trying to look cool, even with my big belly. But hey, I'm 54, you know, and I've got a gap. Don't forget about the gap. But you've got to try and dress mutton up as lamb as best you can. So we filmed me, and then I must have taken about five minutes of footage, put it into DaVinci Resolve and played around with it. And boy, was I impressed. Not with me. You know, I'm 54. I'm an old geezer and I'm very proud of it. But I'm impressed with what you can do with that little bit of intention, energy and effort. effort. So that, that actually took me to a new level, a new way of thinking about how can I get me into there as clearly and as definedly as possible quickly and then stick that into DaVinci Resolve and see what I can get away with. So um, I will put a clip in of what we did two days ago and then I played with in DaVinci Resolve and that is now going to be the background of the song Why I Watch Ya. <sighs> Take two. I'm just going to make myself look a dick for about two minutes. And I don't think I've posted it on YouTube yet, the why I watch you with the girl on the bike, just a bit of CGI. I'll make sure that goes on YouTube. But I will also make sure this new version goes on YouTube, even though it's only an instrumental and it's work in progress. But 
I stuck the video to the audio and now I've realized that I want to make the, the song Why I Watch You freestyle jamming. I don't want to write lyrics. I want to be able to stand here and sing. So I now need to get the microphone here somehow or maybe just handheld it. We'll, we'll see one step at a time. to be able to catch capture me singing as I'm singing into the microphone on audio and in video and I want it to be able to done mobile like this so freestyling now you can imagine if I've got a microphone and I'm singing um, the lights are going to cause a bit of a problem but already I've got to be honest with you looking at what I'm looking at now I'm happy I would definitely make this the building block the starting the stepping stone for the next step so I might get that done today not too sure I'm, I'm in no rush this is wonderful the way things are working I'm over the moon about DaVinci Resolve um, I really am over the moon about DaVinci Resolve okay you need a good PC and when I when I when I was working on the Quake promo video work in progress i mean I, I i have to chuck stuff in to see how it comes back to me and see how it talks to me i'm amazed at the effects i'm getting and the energy that's coming back out of the uh presentation but it's hammering the pc and my pc is not cut out for davinci resolve i can tell that but i'm going to make it work i always do so i'll get there so um after seeing that uh, after and also, I, I, want, I don't want to miss something else out. This is for anyone else that works with video editing. But 90% of you guys know all this already. It's just I didn't. I didn't know this. The one thing I learned about getting Quake 1 demo files into DaVinci Resolve. So we're talking about using Quake 1, get the AVI file rendered by Quake, then get it into DaVinci Resolve and edit and then post-produce and have something to show you and say this has come from Quake through DaVinci Resolve onto your screen. I was noticing the graph, uh, the quality going downhill. So silly things like if I'm exporting from Quake, which originally I managed to do, it's 1600 by 1200. I was amazed I did that because I can't get it to work now. I can't get my PC to do it and it did it on Windows 7. But in hindsight, I've been playing with 1600 by 900, which seems to be a better widescreen. It feels more like a widescreen and that's what I want. So I might end up redoing all that again to 16 by nine, which is what the one you're going to see is. It's 16 by nine and I, I chucked it together in less than a day. Honestly, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I wanted to be able to sit and then watch what comes back to me because that's how I take the next step. I actually need to see it visually and hear it audibly before I know where it's going to go next. Ironically, that sounds a bit daft, but what it actually does is it does the job for me. It just tells me where I need to go. So Quake came out amazing. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Although I did put the song Ripper on. There's two songs, Bang and Ripper. So this one's got the, the Ripper song on, which was a, it's a bit in your face. And I have decided I will redo both songs. But that's also so it goes on my website and gets played in bits and bobs. And then you can interweave the audio playing in bits and bobs with the video playing in bits and bobs. You basically run two media players. One plays video, one plays audio randomly and different lengths, different parts. And then the same over here. I want to see what that looks like. And eventually I'll have that running on my website, but that's a big job. 
that's good. That's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. And it's taken me 20 years to get here. So not in a rush, you can tell. Um, so the Bang video, Ripper, whatever, the Quake, the Quake EP, I'm really impressed because I now got the video from Quake into DaVinci Resolve, played with it, looked back at it, and wow, I managed to keep the resolution, the, the quality of the content. And you'll get to see that. Not necessarily the entertainment aspect I'm talking about now. The resolution, the quality, the overall quality of what you are looking at. If I get the rest of it right, then you'll enjoy it. If I don't, then you'll probably kick my ass in the comments below. So that's that's the Bang video, the Ripper video, the Quake EP. Um, the other thing is this. Yeah, this. So forgive me, I'm getting a bit of a runny nose. Um, so this, I had to... This came out last night. This came up last night because yesterday, after editing the video of me just dancing around in the lounge downstairs, I told Emma, I need your tablet here. I want to look like this. I want my big belly to be hidden as best as possible. But, you know, I'm getting old, getting old. And I basically, I was actually bobbing my head to 140 BPM acid, acid house. Because I knew what I wanted to see, but I didn't know how it was going to come out at the end. Anyway, in the end, I accidentally used that video to my song, Why I Watch Ya. And when I slowed it down and added some effects, and then doubled me up so you've got me both moving at the same time in sync. A bit like a kaleidoscope effect. I was impressed. I was impressed. <laughs> DaVinci Resolve and I can't seem to move them though it's all locked up and it wouldn't let me play around with the two me's in the background but it made me decide there and then this song is going to be jammed freestyled live it's going to be recorded in video and it's going to be recorded in audio so the next job is do I have a microphone here and I dance around it um, do I have it freestyle in my hand? That's the next step. But obviously I've got to do it in such a way it doesn't ruin the property. Uh, I've got a, a load of points to come off after putting these boards up on the ceiling. All the screws have got visible heads, so that's great. I've got plenty of places to come off and add to the idea. Also just watching the two shadows, because this is going to become more important later when I do some recording. Doubt if I'll do that today, but there seems to be an optimal point. Now you can't really see the shadows that much. And actually, I do need to be closer into the camera for a while. Watch it. You'll see why when you see the work in progress instrumental of it, because there's the two me's that I want in the background. Um, and really, I want me in the middle singing up front. Girl, you know I like the way you move. Babe, you know I like the way you look. That's why I watch you. So that's what I'm after down the bottom. Um, but that's one step at a time. The brain's as usual, as usual, as you. If you want to know what my brain does, there's a song by Cannabis. I think it's C-A-N-I-B-U-S. And it's called Poet Laureate. And it might be number two. And there's a guy, audio clip, very old, you can tell it's 50s, 60s, of a man saying, my problem isn't writer's block. My problem is I can't get the ideas out quick enough and in time. That's my problem. That's my, it's always been it. I haven't got enough me's and enough time to do everything I want. So, but hey, I'm not complaining. By divine grace, I will do what I can do. And I will enjoy every minute. And I hope you do too. Life is for living. So that's why I'm doing this. This has been a total U-turn in my path. And I don't mind because that's actually where I want to go. Uh, I'm not very spontaneous by nature. So sometimes divine intervention decides, no, Stu, uh, excuse me. I'm sick and tired of you doing that all the time. Oh, you're going to be a dad now or you're going to get 
settle down now, whatever. So that's the next step. That's why we've got this bed sheet here, stains included. Stains included. This is all Mother Nature, real life. No CGI stuff, it's just a bed sheet. And then I've got the tablet recording there, as you can hear me talking. What are we on? And I haven't got the glasses on. I'm trying to look vaguely cool. But that's a joke. Anyway, um, I can't see what it's on. I really can't. And when you see the video of the instrumental wire watcher, you'll see why this is happening. So the next stage will be come off the ceiling maybe with a mic stand. I, actually, the mic would be pretty good there, but it's going to interfere with this. But I really, really, really do want the video to be live with the audio. No recording then miming afterwards. I've noticed with me, I've changed. I, I'm better just allowing myself to freestyle. Let someone else take over and I become the medium whereby, whereby which my crap passes through me. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening for now. I have always thought I'd be doing the bang video at the end of the year. That's sped up. That's fast forward. So, And it's funny the way it's happened. It's so funny the way it's happened because I didn't intend starting compiling the videos when I did about two or three months ago. I had two computers downstairs in the dining room. One is the one we always use with Office on, the internet, this, that. And then the other one was the studio PC that's down there compiling these videos out of Quake. And it took about two weeks. So you can imagine just Quake 1 running uh, a video, com uh, compiling an AVI video at 30 frames a second. And initially it was 16 by 12. Can't get it to do it now. But I... Divine Grace taught me a lesson here. I really wanted the widescreen feel. I couldn't get it off the 1612, but it was the first time I did it. And also using the Mark V Quake add-on, I managed to get rid of the timing time at the bottom right corner. It's been there all, been there on all my videos forever. I didn't know how to get rid of it, but I now know how I know the console command to do that now. So um even today. You guys are all playing these modern games, and I'm still... I don't actually play Quake that much anymore. You should see my little boy, my little cheeky chop. He's on it loads. He loves it. But he loves watching my videos and my website, and he spends as much time there as I do. I can see him taking over one day and going down this road, but hey, as long as he's happy, I don't care. It's a new gun. So that's the next job for me. I'm definitely going to get the uh, the uh, JSM Quake AP promo clip that I have messed with out of DaVinci Resolve for you to see firsthand. That's going. That's coming out roughly when this comes out. That's for sure, because I want that. I want that to be the what's the word? The keystone for me. I want to know what I can achieve, and I've already seen it. And I want you guys to get a, a realisation that until, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, I'd never touched DaVinci Resolve. But I do learn quick, I will warn you. I learn quick. When I'm, when I'm interested in something, I learn quick. And already, my girlfriend, Emma, she loves the video I did of me and her, baby, baby, with me and her superimposed on. We were a bit skinnier. We were 10 years younger. But again, it's 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 a moment in time captured for life of us. And I'm sure you all love that too, and you all do that. Baby, baby, you are my lady.
so that's the thing. DaVinci Resolve has really given me a good cornerstone, a good grounding for where I can go from to next. Windows Movie Maker, I mean, I lived on that forever and I knew it was limited, but without it, I wouldn't have had all the old videos. Be grateful for small mercies. Be grateful and just take it from there. So, Doom, Ripper. It, this one's going to be Ripper on the Quake EP because I just happened to drop that in. I might drop Doom in as, uh, sorry, I might drop Bang in as well. Not Doom, Bang. That's my two songs, Bang and Ripper. And they're both on looplibrary.co.uk. Bang! <laughs> and do one with Bang, um, but Ripper was just the one I dropped on, mixed a bit of a Quake video, it's the same clip played three times, a bit of CGI um, playing around, a bit of uh, text put on the top, again it's to deliver to me what I intend to put out, it's helping me realise where I want to go to next. And then the next thing is why I watch it and this stained bedsheet which is my green screen. And when we did the video two days ago, recorded it in the dining room on a black wall, uh, sorry, on a white wall that needs repainting. That's my next job. And then this is where this idea came from. Okay, it's not a green screen, but it's something in the house that I can try straight away using the dissolve feature of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, basically, you, 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 transparency threshold that kind of thing i want to see what i can get away with so that's why i'm doing this um what else do i want to say it's snowing yeah it's snowing and i hope it's natural snow i hope there isn't any dew going on or any any silly stuff like that um what else do i want to say i think that's it for now i didn't actually intend making a video but those always tend to be the best videos the ones that you don't intend planning again I, Emma was going mad. Emma was going mad. She's gone mad for a different reason. Up until a week or two ago, it was because I was always working on the mix. Now it's because of this why I watch you. Girl, you know I like the way you move. That's why I watch you. Yeah, yeah, babe. I like to watch you. And so I, I was playing the video and it's already giving me ideas and ideas, but that seems to be how I do it. I have to hear something over and over over and over and it's like a meditation actually that's kind of what happens it, 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 it quietens the mind my mind's so quiet anyway but it makes space for ideas just to go and they pop in my head and all of a sudden oh that's my next job so that's how i tend to get it um and i think that's all for now that's all for now got the sheet up my cup's empty gotta go make a cup of tea gotta get this video onto that machine and then I'll take it from there. So I wish you all well. I wish you all the very best in life that it has to bring you. And life to a certain degree is what you make of it. So stay positive, stay happy, and bless this moment that you are in. I wish you all well. I love you all. JSM is temporarily gone for now. Bye bye. Yeah.